Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at adding animated sections to your model. So what's an animated section? That's when you take something like, well, you're going to take your 3D model and kind of move through it and cut through it like one slice at a time and see the insides all the way through. It's like taking a camera and just kind of pushing it through, going through walls, everything, just seeing all of it. And uh, this can, I mean, a normal section is something we just have a normal tool for. You go in and you put a section, it cuts the model off and you look inside it from there. But an animated section actually takes that plane and moves it through the model as you transition from one scene to the next. It seems like it could be daunting, but it's actually incredibly easy. And we're gonna take a look at how to do it right now. All right, so I have a model. I intentionally went and, and grabbed a model from the 3D warehouse that was a longer model, right? So. This is gonna be fun to cut a section through here. So a couple things we're gonna to use to do this, this, uh, this animation. So we're gonna use our scenes over here. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna open up scenes and we're going to use the section tool. Tools under section, <laughs> section is under tools. And then right down here, I have section plane. So I'm gonna use section plane and scenes. That's it. And this is gonna be very, very, very simple. Um, so what we're gonna start with is we're gonna come in and we're gonna put a section where we wanna put the first cut. So I'm gonna start that on the outside over here. So I'm gonna to go to tools, I'm gonna to go to section plane, and I'm just gonna let that, just gonna snap it right, right to the side with green, boom, like that. And I'm gonna call this start. We'll start it with, we'll put a one there. All right, so that's number one. So now before I do anything else, what I'm going to do, I can right click on this, make sure it's active. Yes, this is what I want. This is active. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say create a new scene. But before I click the plus button, oh, hopefully if you're following along, you were slow and didn't do it already. I'm going to come down here to what I want to include. So I have the option right here to choose what I want to include with this. All I want to see in this, in this scene I'm about to create is where the section is at. So I'm going to turn everything except for active section plane off. All of it's turned off. I'm gonna leave include an animation turned on. But I'm gonna turn all the rest of them off and I'm gonna hit plus. And that creates my first scene. That's good, it called it scene one. That's cool, I don't care. Now, I'm gonna create another section plane. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna kind of come right here. I'll, I'll take it all the way out to the end of this deck here. So we'll go to tools again section plane again. Um, I might be able to snap to the end. Now I'm just gonna hit the left arrow key to lock it to green and then just click right here. And I'm gonna call this end, I'm gonna call it number two. Okay, now a couple things are happening here. Right now we have two section planes. Only one section plane can be active at a time and right now it should be number two. It is, it's the active cut it's also facing the wrong way, right? It's cutting this direction. I want it to actually cut the other direction. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna say reverse and everything's gonna disappear, but that's okay. So you can see, here's what's gonna happen. Well, let, let, me, let me back up. Let's go ahead and save this in a scene before I do anything else. So I'm just gonna come over here. Active section plane is still the only thing turned on. I'm just gonna hit plus. I got scene two. So scene one, this is active. Scene two, this is active. What's gonna happen now is as I transition from one scene to the next, SketchUp is going to animate one section plane to the other. So if I come to scene one, I click, all I'm gonna do is click on scene one. It's gonna run back, look at this. It's gonna run back through the whole model until it gets back to where that first section plane was placed. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That was cool. Now. Because we didn't save anything like camera location or anything like that, I can come in here and figure out where do I want to look at this from? Let's try this. Let's hit scene two. Yeah, look at that cuts through. That's pretty cool. I like that. But let's get let's get to the point where I'm like just staring right down. I just want to see this, this thing just get built right in my face. Let's try this. Here it comes. Oh, it's like a 3D movie. You can see each of the pieces getting built. Very cool, very simple animation. Now this is taking 
you know, a few seconds to animate. That's all part of my, my settings, right? So if I come in here to view animation and I go to settings, I currently have this set at 10 seconds. Uh, let's just, for the sake of brevity, let's drop this down and say like, I want to see that as five seconds instead. And then I can hit this button. Yeah, look at it go through there. That's awesome. Very cool. One of the things I don't care before in this though, is that my section planes show through the whole thing. Right, so here, see here I can see them. I don't like that very much. So I wanna go ahead and get rid of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab both of them right now. I'm gonna right click on them and just hide them. I mean, this one's highlighted. Well, it's because it's active, um, but I can hide that too. Now, if I hit play, oh yeah, look at that. You'll notice I didn't have to go back in and update the scene with the hidden sections because the state of the visibility of those sections wasn't saved because the only thing that was saved was the section plane. So very nice way, easy way to, uh, you know, save yourself some work later on. Let's go like this and then hit that again. Oh, I love it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, beautiful. I think I like getting built better than I like it disappearing, though. I think this is cool how it comes out. Uh, I could see this as an animation for a product, this container hone as a product or something like that. Um, it is a little quick, though, so I might actually come in here to animation and hit settings. And then maybe we'll bump that up to like, I don't know. 10 felt like it was dragging. Let's see if, if 8 feels better. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, very cool. Cool. So that's it. I don't know if you guys were counting, but the actual process of adding the scene or adding the sections and then adding the scenes, the whole thing takes about three or four minutes. It is very simple, very easy to do. Uh, again, I would recommend anytime you're working with scenes, be conscious of what information you're actually saving with the scene. This, this will bite you all the time. I mean, it, it gets me constantly where I just, oh, I'll just save everything. But I didn't need everything. I only needed one or two things. So if you're conscious of that, uh, it's going to save you some pain like, like that, like hiding, hiding my two section planes. I just did it and I didn't have to update anything. So there we go. That's all it takes. A couple of clicks, a couple of section planes, a couple of scenes, and you can have this very cool building or unbuilding animation created in SketchUp. So hopefully you like that. If you, if you haven't seen that before, like I said, when you see that animation, ooh, that's cool how that happened. Very easy, very simple to do. A couple of clicks and you can have it in your own model. If you like that video, go ahead and click like to down below. Maybe share this with somebody. Uh, maybe leave us a comment. Have you ever done this before? Do you use section planes or animations at all? How do you use them? Are they different from what we just did? Love to hear what you're thinking. And if you don't already, you should probably subscribe. If you made it this far in this video, it means you have some appetite for SketchUp and we aim to serve you as much tasty SketchUp as we possibly can. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you.